Hello, I am Birla and this video is regarding the various aspects of rice cultivation. Here in this video, I will be showing you the various stages of rice cultivation along with the practices followed, starting right from the germination up to the harvesting. Rice is one of the most important staple food crops in the world. In Asia alone, more than 2 million people are dependent on rice and its derived products. Among the food grains cultivated in India, it ranks first, both in terms of area as well as production. The very first step in rice cultivation is nursery raising. The rice nurseries should be raised in well prepared nursery beds. The nursery beds should be of 1 to 1.5 meter wide and of convenient length. In between the two nursery beds, spacing of 40 to 50 centimeters should be provided to facilitate easy movement as well as other maintenance practices. For transplanting one hectare area of field, about 500 square meters of area is sufficient for nursery raising. The seed requirement for sowing onto the nursery beds is 40 to 50 kg per hectare for pole grain varieties and 30 to 35 kg per hectare for fine grain varieties. The seeds sown on the nursery beds will start germinating in 2 to 3 days and will be ready for transplanting in 20 to 25 days after sowing. Seedlings are considered to be ready for transplanting when they attain 4 to 5 leaf states and a height of around 15 to 20 centimeters. Preparation of the main field first requires a thorough plowing followed by flooding. This flooded field will then be bottled 2 to 3 weeks before transplanting. Different types of bullocks, manual or tractor tone butlers can be used for this purpose. This process helps to create a beneficial physical, chemical and biological condition for the growth of the rice plant and subsequently eliminates the growth of weeds. Once the main field has been prepared, the seedlings in the nursery beds that have attained an optimum age, which is 3 to 4 weeks for short duration varieties and 4 to 5 weeks for long duration varieties, will be uprooted and transplanted onto the main field. Generally, two to three seedlings will be transplanted per hill at a spacing of 20 by 10 cm under normal conditions. However, this spacing may vary according to the variety and the cultivation methods followed. The problem for weeds in case of transplanted field is much more less in comparison to the broadcasted ones and in general weeding is practiced twice during a cropping season. One at about 20 to 25 days after transplanting which should be before the first top threshing and another at about 50 to 60 days after transplanting which should be before the second top threshing. The water requirement of rice is higher than that of any other crops of similar duration. Water should be allowed to stain in the field at a depth of 2 to 5 cm until the transplanted seedlings are well established. Thereafter, about 5 cm of water should be maintained up to the top stage, which will be drained out from the field 7 to 15 days before harvesting. Organic manures and chemical fertilizers are both important for rice cultivation. 10 to 15 tons of well rotten FYM per hectare should be applied 4 to 5 weeks before sowing. And for fertilizers, a full dose of phosphorus and potash 
and a half dose of nitrogen is applied before the last bottling. The remaining amount of nitrogen should be applied in two equal doses. First, at the tillering stage, that is 25 to 30 days after transplanting, and second, at the panicle initiation stage, which will be 55 to 65 days after transplanting. The reproductive phase of the plant, starting from panicle initiation up to the flowering, almost lasts for 30 days. The reproductive phase is followed by the maturity phase, which will also last for almost 30 days. In this stage, the milking, grain filling and the maturing of the grains will occur. The right stage for harvesting is when about 80% of the panicles have about 80% ripened spikelets. At the time of harvest, the upper portion of the spikelets should be straw colored. At this stage, the grain will contain about 20% of moisture. The right stand is cut close to the ground and left in the field for a few days to dry. Later on, they should be collected and bundled and stacked for threshing.